everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Mimi I hope you're having a great day guys in today's video I'm going to be discussing how I personally grind for diamonds I did put a short on my YouTube channel and I've had a couple of comments just asking me how I managed to do it and in all honesty it's not really that difficult um, you don't need that many fantastic pets you don't really need to have access to the mystic mine there is other ways around it so I thought I would give you a few pointers so the first thing that we need to do is we need to stock up on our fruits now I have got some here but what we need to do is we need to max these out and to max them out you have to get about 200 of them we're more interested in the orange one because it gives us 2.5 extra diamonds but the other ones you know not a bit dismissed and obviously at the moment we have got the two times diamond event so we are getting more than we would ordinarily get so what we're going to do is we're going to go and dump all my diamonds in my bank just so we can keep a tally on how many we actually do get I have a gift, let's check that out whilst we're here. I've got two gifts. Ooh. Hi. Oh, for your next video, better than last time. I appreciate everything I get. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness, another M10 prototype. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do. Well, I'm doing it too fast. I might have to come back and claim that one in a minute. Um, I really do appreciate anything that you send my way. Um, so don't ever think that it's going to be a bad pet. I'm never going to say anything like that. Oh, I'm walking straight past my bank. So we're going to just pop in here. And I'm going to, oh, I've already got some in my bank. So I'm just going to deposit, oh, I don't know. So we'll do 400 billion and then I can, I should have zero. There we go. Oh God, that looks so strange. Zero gems. Okay. So now that we're broke <laughs> with, with zero gems, we're going to make our way over to well, there's two ways you can do it. I'm going to go to hardcore mode, but you don't have to do it in hardcore mode. I'm going over there because you get double the amount of pets. You can do it in normal mode, um, but I'm showing you how I personally do it so that I'd be a bit cheating if I'm going to show you the other way. But it would work both ways, so don't, don't stress about it. You don't need to have um, hardcore, but we're going to go. So here we are back in hardcore. The only thing I don't like about hardcore mode is that you can't be in your own private server. I pay for a private server, um, which is 400 Robux for a month. So it's a month of subscription and it only works in normal mode. You can't actually use it in hardcore, which I think is a bit horrible. Uh, so now we're going to go over to Pixel World. And we're going to go specifically to Pixel Alps because this is what we find is the best drop. You're roughly going to go about in the middle, doesn't really matter whereabouts you go. And then this is where you need an auto clicker. Um, you can get some different variations of the one. This is the one that I use. It's called GS Auto Clicker. It is free to use um, and it does the job. There are other ones that you can download, but this is the one that I personally use. So in the options, I'm going to set the recording multiple clips and I'm going to tick it. Um, I'm going to make sure that this is unticked so it will just complete it will repeat the tick wherever my mouse is that's where it's just going to clock so if i want it to click over here it will just stay there and it just completely continuously click in that one spot if you add this one talk this is where you pick a specific point you want it to click there there and there which is great for some things but for this one i just want it to click in the one spot and then we have to change our clicking rate so we need it to repeat so you can set it as how uh, many hours, how many minutes, how many seconds, and how many milliseconds. I'm going to change this one. I'm going to put it back down to 10. Um, and then we're just going to ignore this because we're just going to keep it repeat until we stop it. And then you've got your hotkey. Mine is set to F10 because I find that's a key that I don't press that often. So I don't accidentally press it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just kind of line, line your avatar your player up in kind of a flat position and then I'm just going to press my auto clicker to start I missed a spot actually before we do that I am a couple of pets missing I don't really care which pets I've got equipped at this point in time because it's not about grinding for anything other than the fruits so it could be any old pet that I put on but you need to make sure that you have your pet sending set as single and not all because if you do it all it will just bit them all in one place so we're going to spread them out and keep them as single so we press f10 or whatever your hotkey this is very loud so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to turn off i'll keep the music on i'm just going to turn off the effects 
Okay, so all that we need to do now is set off our auto clicker, which we will do by pressing F10 any minute. Once I've set my auto clicker off, then all I will need to do then is press my arrow key and then put something heavy on top of my arrow key to keep my screen spinning and then set off the auto clicker. So we're going to pretend that all our fruits are all maxed out to um, 200. I mean, you can go with them less. You don't have to wait until you've got 200. I just find if you're going to be away from your computer, if you're going to let it run overnight, you don't want them to run out and they only last so long. I mean, if I look at my mastery now, my mastery, yeah, it's at 50. So they will last 20% longer. I mean, I'm not entirely sure how long they do last. Um, but if you max it out, they do... Um, they last a lot longer, 50% longer, plus they give you more, um, more multipliers and more drops. So from here, bearing in mind that we are in hardcore and we have got 30 pets, there's two things you can do. You can either just leave it on your random pets that you've got, or if you wanted to, I would unequip. I generally would have all my huge pets on, no matter what the, the things are, whether the diamond, whether the you know glittering whether the magnet whatever they are i would generally always have my huges on me at all times and then the best ones to look for are your royal oh that's not your spell royalty <laughs> your royalty pets because all your royalty pets give you a hundred plus um diamonds so i would go ahead and equip everything that i've got that's a fairly decent pet um that has the royalty on and then the next thing i generally would stop here and make sure they are hardcore pets um, and then maybe search for diamonds you don't have to do this step this is completely optional you can just put any random pets on but and then i'm going to try and equip anything that's um oh I, I maxed out on my royalty if i didn't max out on my royalty then i would have gone ahead and put the diamond um, four and five is what I would recommend using. Anything less than that's kind of not worth using. Diamond three, mm, at a push, you could use that one, but diamond four and diamond five would be your best. As I said, though, you do not have to do that. You can just literally put any pet on. And like I said, the only reason that I come to hardcore mode is that you get more pets. No other reason for that. And now I'm just going to teleport over to the diamond mine. Now, I do have access to the Myst mystic mine. Um, I did remember saying at one point in one of my videos that I'm probably never going to come in here. But then I discovered this hack and it kind of made it worth doing. Um, I'll say we've got 235,000 diamonds anyway just by um, farming those fruits for a short period of time. So yeah, I did say it wasn't, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But if you do this and it works, works out for you, I mean it might not. I can't guarantee that this is going to work for everybody. It depends on your pets, depends on your mastery, it depends on what things you've got on, um, what look you've got, whether it's two times coins, how strong your pets are, and um, what enchantments are on them. There's a lot of things that differ from player to player, but like I said, this is just what works for me. The other thing to mention is this, you don't have to have access to the Mystic Mines. This will work in the Cyber Cavern just as well as it works in the Mystic Mines. You just get more um, drops in the Mystic Mine than what you do in the Cyber Cavern. So you don't need to have access to this, but you will need to have access to the, the Cyber Cavern. Not the first one. I can't remember what that one's called. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, but what is it? What is it called? Paradise Cave. I won't bother with that one, but Cyber Cavern, yeah, give it a go in there. Rather than getting rid of one of your huges, once you've done it and it works, you can go ahead and buy yourself some more huges and then it might be worth coming into the Mystic Mine. But for now, as you're starting out, just use the Cyber Cavern. It's, 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 fine trust me it's absolutely fine so again what we're going to do is we're just going to position our avatar right here now we have to keep in mind that i have already got 230,000. not that that's going to make any difference and then we're going to set it off so it's just been about an hour since i um started spinning and you can see that I've got just over 12.3 billion gems. I and mean, sometimes you'll get more, sometimes you'll get a bit less. It all depends on what pets you've got on and what the server boosts are doing and what drops you get actually in here. Um, the other thing to mention is I do actually have um, the magnet game pass which is this super magnet so it grabs loot um, from everywhere i don't know how much it was something's making me say it was like maybe four or six hundred robux i can't quite remember um you don't necessarily need it it just means that if you don't have it you will have to run around the circle and pick up all the loot bags i mean some of them it does miss 
um, because they don't automatically come to you unless you've got magnet on and then sometimes they do get a little bit stuck here there and everywhere um, so you don't really need it um, but it is an added bonus if you do have it it just saves you that little bit of time um, so yeah that is how I actually grind for diamonds guys um, like I said you can probably do this in normal mode I've never actually tried it maybe it'd be worth seeing um, just exactly how many we get if we do it in normal mode just as a comparison maybe I'll do that for you in another video all right guys that's being said that is all I've got time for um don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications and I will see you next time bye bye butterflies <laughs>